So, some great news coming out of the White House. Uh, Obama is planning to make college free for two years for all community college students and potential students that will work for it. So now let me give you the specifics on this, uh, and I quote from the Common Dreams, uh, put simply from Obama, what I'd like to do is to see the first two years of community college free from everybody, it's, of course, everybody who is willing to work for it. Uh, the plan would save the average full-time student $3,800 a year, making community college affordable and available to roughly 9 million Americans each year. Now, to give you more stats, you would have to maintain, let's say, a 2.5 GPA, and the college would have to have, would have to offer occupational training to their programs and guarantee academic credits would be transferable to their four-year university. So let's say if you go to your average local community college, you would have to make sure it's transferable to whatever university. Let's say you go to Berkeley or you go to uh, Fullerton or you go to Minnesota, you have to make sure that's transferable. Um, so the federal plan is going to go three-fourths of the cost is going to go uh, is going to be funded through the federal government and the remaining 25% is going to go to the states. So when you hear the gibberish saying that oh, this is going to fall on the states, it's going to be more funding, look at the stats, look at the facts. 75% of it is going to be funded from the federal government. So I have a couple of thoughts on this. The first off in the facts of the information, a 2.5 GPA when we really get into it, that's about a BC average. That's actually not too hard to get when you really think about it. All you have to do is work a decent amount and you can get the grades. Most people are capable of getting that, so it's not something too hard. And I understand this is a great measure because some kids, you know, they're in great circumstances. They have a great home environment. They have all the materials they need to work. And so it'll be easier for them to attain a 2.5 GPA. But I also understand there's individuals in uh, lower income areas where it's more difficult for them to attain this. So this is a good middle ground to go with at a 2.5 GPA. Um, moving on. Hey, look, we're finally starting to catch up to the European nations. I mean, I've said this before and I'll say this again, Germany. Uh, just last year, they decided to make college free for all students in their country, inclusive of all international students as well. This is also true of Switzerland, of Sweden. I mean, practically all the Western European nations have followed this model. And, you know, we're finally, we're finally catching up. Now, this is a step in the right direction. This is no, this is by no way means where we're going, we really want to be. Because when you look at it, what we'd like to see is we'd like to make college free for all. Because when college is free for all and we really invest in our people, that's where we're going to see the middle class jobs pick up. And it's actually going to save us revenue. Because when we invest in, let's say, the subsidies that we currently give out for college, there's a lot of bureaucracy and there's a lot of uh, you know cracks in the system that make the money go out. So actually, right now, if we were to cut all costs and we were to go to a free education, it would cost less. So it's just something for everyone to think about when they're engaging this debate. Again, my kind of, especially my anger with the public media, this is where it becomes tenfold with anger. This is a populist idea. This is for the people. Millions of Americans will benefit from this. The tax hike is not going to be keen essential and too high for the people. The rough estimate is $60 billion. We raise taxes on the incredible rich. Not too big of a deal. But the public media is extremely dismissive of this and doesn't even point out how really beneficial it is for the media, all they point out is how freaking expensive it is. I mean, hey, how, how about you just be fair and not be hypocrites? How about our war on terror? How about, how about our war on drugs? What was that, $860 billion over 10 years? And what, this plan's only 60? Please, that's like nothing in comparison. And you know what, uh, as we're finishing this up, you know, it's a great thing that Obama wanted to do, but this is something he should have done about two years ago because a two, to, uh, two to three years ago when he had a full, when he had control of the House and he can, had control uh, in the Congress, because when he had the control, he could really get this passed. Now, I mean, he's got a, the GOP controls the House, the GOP controls the Senate. What, I mean, it's not gonna pass. It's impossible when the Republicans are like, fuck, screw you Americans, you know, screw you the majority, we're just gonna continue to support the corporations and the 1%. 
So yeah, it's a great idea and thought, and I'm happy he's proposing these ideas. It's going to be a great campaign measure, but it probably won't pass. So unfortunate there, but at least we're in a step in the right direction where he's finally going through a populace and really uh, rejuvenating what he spoke about when he was trying to get elected. So hey guys, please comment, please like, please subscribe, and have a great day, everyone. All right, bye.